awesome day, awesome day, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone today. Hopefully, you're going to spend today with family and really, really enjoy the day. Uh, today, we're still going to do a quick three-minute devotion to get your day started off right, and then you can get to all your cooking and everything else. Uh, today's devotion is titled, God's Heart for Prodigals. We'll read from Ezekiel 33:11 from the NIV, then get into today's devotion. It says, As surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather that they turn from their ways and to live. Turn, turn from your evil ways. There's no mistaking the consequences that await those who turn away from God. But if you imagine an angry deity eager to judge you for your sins, consider this passage. Ezekiel shows a God who pleads with his people to change their ways. The Lord shows his people that there are two paths set before them and calls on them to choose obedience and life. Each day you face opportunities to move toward God or to shut yourself off from him. If you've closed yourself off from him, this message applies to you as well. Turn from your willful ways. Seeing his beloved people undone by selfishness hurts the heart of God. The unraveling of our lives under the sway of sin is the last thing he wants. God is ready to forgive, to welcome you back to life. His plea for you today is simple and heartfelt. Come back. You know, God is such a forgiving God. He's such an amazing, loving, forgiving God. And he truly does have a heart for prodigals. We, we mess up so many times. Even though we walk away from habitual sin, sometimes as humans, we slip up. Yes, Christ lives in our hearts and we have the Holy Spirit, but we tend to make a mistake every now and then. We we shouldn't habitually make that mistake. Maybe just a one-off thing that happens. You've had a bad day, you make a mistake. God is is gracious enough to forgive you because maybe you're a Christian that you're, you're a baby Christian. And I would only say baby Christians should make those mistakes because as you grow in the faith, you should be able to have that spiritual discipline to fend off the temptations and attacks of the enemy. However, even if you have made a mistake, God is quick to forgive you because he loves you, because he cares for you, because he has a plan and a future for you, because he has a, a hope for your life still. He's still willing for you to wake up tomorrow and give you a second chance to have a day without that sin, to have a day without that mistake, because his grace is sufficient for us. But guys, we have to give it all to him. We have to surrender all to Jesus because he is deserving of all our honor, all our glory, and all our praise. Have an awesome Thanksgiving. Have an attitude of gratitude today. And remember, God has a heart for prodigals and he has a heart for you also. Guys, take care. God bless you.